Today we are going to learn what a centroid is and how to find one on a triangle. And so basically all a centroid is is where three medians come together and it appears to be the center of mass because what we can do is once we find this centroid, which is at this point right here, we could end up balancing this triangle on this point. So we could put a pencil tip right at the edge, right at the intersection of these lines, and this triangle would balance right on that. And so what we'll end up doing is we'll end up cutting out some triangles. And so I cut out this one here, or made this triangle, and all I did is, is just drew any type of triangle. It's just a one inch line this way, and so that's where the one inch line came from here. And then I drew a line coming out four inches, because that was easy to do. And then I connected those two lines, and that distance was four and five eighths of an inch. So from there, what I did is I measured the, for the midpoint. So the midpoint is just halfway from four to five eighths. So the quick way to find out what that midpoint was, was I took four and I divided it by two. And that gave me two. And then I took five eighths and I divided that by two. Now when I divide by two, it's the same thing as multiplying by a half. That gives me 5 sixteenths. So all I did is I measured 2 and 5 sixteenths of an inch from one of the ends. And then I put a dot there. And I did the same thing here. This was easy because it was just one half or one inch. So I took half of one inch and that gave me one half of an inch. So I just measured one half of an inch over and put a dot right there. And then over here, this was 4 inches, so again, that was easy as well. I just divided it by 2 and went over 2 inches. So from one of the endpoints, went over 2 inches, and then I just put a dot there. And then what I do is I draw these medians. Now, a median is a line drawn from the midpoint to the opposite vertex. So I call this the opposite vertex because these two vertices, and vertices are where these two lines come together, these two are in line with this midpoint. And so I can't draw a line that is not on the side to those two vertices, but I can draw a line to the opposite vertex. And that's what I did. So I line up my ruler, and I'm really careful about making sure I get right in the corner there, because the more precise we are, the better chance we'll have all these lines coming together at this point. And so I line up my ruler really carefully, offset it just a bit so I can fit my pencil in there, and then drew that line right down to the midpoint. And I do the same thing with all these other lines here, again, called medians. And so I go from this vertice, or this vertex, to this point. And so again, you offset your ruler just a little bit so that you can fit your pencil tip right in there and be able to draw that line directly to this point. And then you do it one more time. So you go from this vertice, vertex right here, and you make sure you're right in the center again. And then you just draw that line right to the midpoint. And what you'll end up seeing is all the lines will come together at this one point. And the point is called the centroid, again, where all three medians intersect and it acts as the center of mass because we can balance this on our finger or on our pencil right at this point. And so we're going to practice this a few times in class, maybe draw a few triangles and come up with the centroid. And then towards the end, we'll end up actually drawing one that's a little bit bigger and then cutting them out and seeing how no matter what type of triangle you draw, like this is an obtuse triangle, you could draw a, an equilateral triangle, you could draw a scalene triangle like this one here where all sides are different, but you could draw acute scalene triangle where we have all sides that are not larger, no side is larger than 90 degrees. So what we'll end up doing for our project though is down below here. And so it's out of six points, and you'll end up using some construction paper because construction paper is a little thicker. It'll end up working a little bit better. It doesn't matter what color it is, but I do want you to put some sort of design on it later on. You'll get some credit for doing that. You get a point for neatness and creativity. And then the longest side must be at least, at least 12 inches. So this means 12 inches or more. So don't go any less than 12 inches, because if you do, it's not going to work. And you do have to cut this out. So if you go right to 12 inches, chances are you're going to cut right along the line, and it'll end up cutting it a little bit shorter than 12 inches. So make sure, again, you do it a more than 12 inches. 
And then the shortest side must be at least 5 inches. So at least again means 5 inches or more. And so I recommend doing the more. Make sure it's more than 5 inches. That way you've got your credit for that because correct dimensions is worth one point. So that's where most people end up missing a point is right there getting those correct dimensions. So a lot of people want to do it just 12 inches and then one 5 inches. Don't do that. Make it, make it a little bit longer than 12 inches. That way you can make sure you get your correct dimensions in there. So once you've done that, then draw the three medians. So you'll end up needing to find the distance, length of the sides, find the midpoint, and then draw those medians. And then you'll notice that the medians end up intersecting. And when you do that, you're going to end up with that centroid. And so if you do a good job, you actually find the midpoint, because I'll be checking that to make sure you get the midpoint done right. And then I'll look to see if it's the centroid and to see if it balances. And you get points for the three midpoints. So make sure you get the midpoint in there, and whatever your number is, divide that side by two, and then you'll get your value. And then you get a point for getting the centroid right, and then that's about it. So it's just a six-point pro uh, project there, and it counts towards the test grades. So those are the. That's what you'll end up doing. Good luck on that. If you need further explanation, you can see me at lunch.